Hello and welcome. This is tutorial 2.2 wall tool set. In this tutorial we will cover the following key areas. How to root service holes for plumbing and electrical. How to insert custom tooling into wall profiles. How to generate panel, assembly drawing. Ok great. Let's get started. First I will use the draw for walls tool to create four walls for this demonstration. This tool is located under the wall tool set. For this demonstration I have already added some mounting configuration for plug points and switches. Please refer to tutorial 2.1 wall tool set on how to insert this configuration into a wall frame. Ok. We are good to go. I will now demonstrate how easy it is to root services holes for your plug points using SketchUp standard pencil tool. First I will draw using the pencil tool a line across the studs the electrical lines, conduits or perhaps even the plumbing will pass through. You will follow the typical electrical or plumbing plan for the structure. Please pay attention to the placement of the lines. The lines must be drawn on the face of the studs, nogs or other profiles. In this example I have drawn a route using the pencil tool from a plug point to a distribution box. I will now select the lines and the wall and generate the service holes along the path. Open up the Frame Builder Profile Tools set. If for some reason you do not see the Profile Tool set, right click the tool area and open up the tool set from the list. Click on the Services Hole Tool icon to generate the path and punch the services holes. Well there you have it. Simple. I will continue to map out a few more service routes. Pay attention. Next I will demonstrate how to add custom tooling points such as a service hole, notch, dimple and others into a profiles of a wall frame. Click on a wall to begin. Select the frame builder profile tool set. For this demonstration I will add some custom service holes to specific profiles. You can select any tool from the list to add a custom tooling point. Simply hover over the profile you wish to add a tooling point and click the left mouse button when you see the selection lines turning to the color green. I will now demonstrate how to delete a tooling point. Click on the tool type you wish to delete from the Frame Builder Profile tool set. For example, if you want to delete a service hole, click on the service hole tool icon. Then hover over the tooling point with your mouse. When the selection line turns red, use your middle mouse button to delete that point. For this next demonstration I will show you how to generate a panel or assembly drawing for a component. Click on a component to generate the drawing. Open up the main frame builder application window. You will find some shortcut links on the right hand side of the window. Click on Generate Panel Drawing Link. Note, if you do not make a selection, 
it will generate panel drawings for all objects in your model. I will now briefly touch on the functionality of some of the icon in the panel drawing window. The first icon from the left allows you to print to PDF. The second icon from the left allows you to open up your drawing in a new window. The third and fourth icon with A plus and minus signs allows you to increase or decrease the size of the numbered labels in your drawing. And finally the last icon has all your default settings for this panel drawing module. Any changes to a frame will be reflected in the panel drawing. You will follow the same procedure to regenerate a panel drawing. In this demonstration, I will add an opening and regenerate the drawing. Next, I want to briefly touch on the context drawing feature. A context drawing is generated for each wall showing the position or placement of a wall in relation to the overall plan. I will draw a bunch of walls for a typical structure and then I will generate some panel and context drawings. Pay attention! Now that I have my structure, I will click on the main frame builder window and open up the materials menu. Then I will click on generate panel drawings. Note, I have not made any selection. As you can see, a context drawing is generated for each of the wall frames in this model. You can clearly see where a frame sits in the structure. Wonderful! I will now move on to a related feature. This is the 3D context drawing. A 3D context drawing allows you to see snapshots of a frame in the 3D model. You will enable this feature under the default settings in the panel drawing module. Note, this is a very resource intensive feature and it does take a longer time than normal to generate depending on the size of your model. Please save your model first. As you can see, a 3D snapshot is taken for each of the frames. This will allow you to easily determine where each frame sits in the model. We have come to the end of this tutorial. For those of you that are interested, unfortunately my husband left me after the taser incident. He says the sparks were so intense it caused him to see the future in Technicolor. He said I looked very happy in his visions. Happy when I saw an upgraded taser in the mail. He then asked me if I ordered an upgraded taser and I replied in the affirmative. He then started to shout and scream for absolutely no reason and so I tasered him again. When he came to, 
He ran out the door and I haven't seen him since. Such is life. Pray for me. Take care and goodbye.